morning guys well it's not really good morning good afternoon it's like 2 30 sunday irma is coming right now we're just getting some bands off of her where's my phone yep it's 2 40 and as you can see we got all of our stuff packed jason's doing some last minute checks in the house we're the blue dot. There's Irma. The eye is right here. So the strongest part of the storm is not here yet, but she is on her way and locked and loaded and ready to go. I'm headed to my parents' house. Literally, it's right up the road. It's not even a mile away. It's just windy, some rain. Haven't really heard any thunder or lightning I said it's coming and the worst part is probably gonna happen at the night time so I'll try and get some footage but it's gonna be dark and we're gonna be in for a ride what's up guys so my aunt and my uncle Ken are yeah. oh, I'll just hold it. my aunt and my uncle Ken are staying with us during the storm and my Aunt Greta forgot her milk out of the house. So we drove probably about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes up the road to her house to go get some milk, which probably wasn't the smartest thing in the world to do. But we did, and wow. There's like nobody on the roads. And there's a lot of flooding. Here she comes. And I'm gonna bring her around for the ride. Oh, look, there's my uncle, literally in that red Ford. Leave it to my family to be the ones on the road during Hurricane Irma. <laughs> this is funny. Hi. <laughs> We got our milk. We're prepared. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just getting up, so I drove over. So. Oh, that was nice. You just be careful, okay? Oh, yeah. We're all waiting at a power over here. No. No, you guys still have power? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm only getting ready. I forgot my milk, so we can. She got me back home. You gotta have the milk. Gotta have the milk. Gotta have the milk. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> He said he's out of power.
almost 7.30. Oh boy. It is ugly. What are you thinking for your first hurricane, babe? It's pretty nice out here. <laughs> we might as well just take the boat out, try to catch a couple fish. <laughs> And this ain't even at its worst yet, guys. We still have a long night ahead of us. Bunch of limbs already in the yard. So, I'm gonna check in for the last time outside with you guys. Hopefully the night's not too bad and we will see you guys in the morning. Well guys, this is the first look what everything looks like the next day after Hurricane Irma. You can still hear the wind ripping. I have no idea how we did not have a tree fall in the front. We didn't even lose power. That is true. We didn't even lose power. But I do know there's probably at least four to five million people in the state of Florida without power right now. Because last night at about 10, the news said it was at 3 million already. Mr. Morris's fence is kind of down. Branches everywhere. Definitely make sure when you're doing this after storm, guys, to be checking your surroundings. It's probably not the smartest thing in the world to be doing. Walking around in a, after a storm, as bad as Irma was, but we gotta go get my truck. Mr. Morse's backyard into a marina. Besides that little piece of fence down, but that's nothing. Kelsey's camper survived. Your boat survived. Pretty Polly survived. The Cummins and the Blue Water survived. All right, guys, head over to my aunt's house. Um, to check on it. They are worried some trees fell on it. And I have to make sure the paths to get to Aunt Greta's house they're able to get there because she has a car and we are actually coming up to where Dover Road is completely flooded. And um, trying to get as close as I can to because I'm not going to drive through that. No way. That is one thing you do not do, guys. When roads are flooded, do not drive through them like those tards up there. There will always be another way to get through. That is so dangerous. If the power line was down, touching that water anywhere, and it was hot, you would be fried. So... You will see a lot of a lack of intelligence with people when it comes to stuff like this. Just find another way. Don't risk your own life to get somewhere. So, let's try route number two. Alright guys, we're on route number two definitely does not look as clean as route number one but there's no sitting water so far there shouldn't be on this road but like I said as you're driving around after storms like this pay attention to your surroundings down power lines are big no-nos stay away from them their yards definitely flooded you know, don't be in a rush. Drive slow. Pay attention to other drivers because I have already seen like three people spin out from slamming on the brakes too hard on these wet roads. Alright, 
can't see where we're coming. This is about going to be only a one way away, so I'm going to tell this guy to come on. This road's going to need definitely some cleaning up. is crazy and actually last night before the storm got here the weathermen said the storm actually did supposedly die down to a category one so it didn't even hit us as a three like they um, suspected it to and I can't even imagine if a three hit us what everything would look like places like Miami Key West, oh my gosh, guys, like, Key West has some serious, tragic damage. Um, Miami, Naples, our damage isn't even compared to what they're seeing right now. I haven't even seen what Tampa Bay looks like. All right. Home sweet home, baby! No damage! I mean, they've got a yard to clean up, but other than that, Aunt Greta and Uncle Ken's house is good. Thank you, Jesus. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Oh, hallelujah. All right. Another hurricane safety tip when you're uh see how we're walking around i gotta go to the barn things after big storms like this limbs could be just chilling that are broken off and a big gust of wind could bring it and fall and fall on your head my dad calls those widow makers he actually has known some people that have had limbs fall on their heads and sadly pass away so this isn't smart. I'm gonna walk back here to show y'all. We do have a tree down, but it's the neighbors. And they're not the most friendliest people. And they're not gonna clean this tree up, even though it's their tree. But my dad's, wow, they've got a lot of damage now that I'm looking at it. There's been times when their trees have fallen on our yard when it was their time to clean it up and it took them like months to clean it whatever yeah no oh tree fell right there yeah this is not smart walking underneath all this stuff they've got a lot of damage that is crazy long day guys it's been a long day I've done my best to clean this yard up, and it doesn't even look like I've done anything to it. Got the driveway done. The yard still looks like crap. Big pile right here. Here. There's one behind it up by the road. Some right here. So, earlier I tried to get as much done as I could but the wind started picking up again very badly and I did not feel comfortable being under all these trees when the wind started blowing heavy again. So I went inside, ate, took a shower, just came back out here to finish, pick up what I could before it gets dark, mosquitoes come out, school is canceled again tomorrow on Tuesday. So that gives me a whole nother day to get this done. So, Bayshore didn't get flooded, but the keys, the keys are demolished. Um, but yeah, just keep the rest of Florida in your prayers. Continue to keep Houston in your prayers. And uh, we'll all get through this for sure. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see y'all next time. Hurry up, Spank! Come on, it's starting to rain! Hurry!